Hi guys, it's Alexandra here. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, we are going to have a little bit different video today because it will be about uh, varnishing paintings which are already done and they dried, etc. So um, if you're gonna like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and do not hesitate to comment, of course, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Let's get into the video. Okay, guys. So to varnish any acrylic pour painting, as you can see, I've got a few to varnish today. You need to follow a few steps. So firstly, you need to ensure that your acrylic pour painting is completely dry before applying varnish. That's very important. This may take several days to weeks, depending on the thickness of the paint and humidity. So basically, those are the paintings which I've done uh, first. And this is my latest one. However, it was drying for like two weeks now. The, the, the layer of the paint was quite thick, but it's dried out pretty, pretty well. And uh, I'm happy how it's turned out. Um, once it's varnished and it's going to stay like this, it's going to be ready for sale. So if anybody wants to purchase any of those, please let me know in the comments and um, or get in touch in the description box. That is a link to my Instagram, my email address, my Pinterest and my uh, Redbubble as well. So you can buy some stuff with Redbubble. Actually, I've created uh, lovely leggings with the, this button here. So if you're going to go to the link in description click on it you're going to find lots of items with this design like this particular part okay going back to the varnishing you need to always choose the right varnish to varnish your paintings i'm always going for windsor and newton uh, i like this brand when it comes to varnishing i like this brand in general but they're quite expensive choose the varnish between uh, glossy one satin or matte finish based um, depending on your preference uh, obviously i'm using the gloss varnish because i like when my paintings are really really shiny they're already shiny due to the acrylic pouring medium i'm using but they're gonna get extra bit of shine uh, when i'm gonna apply this gloss varnish third thing uh very important one is to prepare your workspace make sure that you working in well ventilated areas so i uh, for example open the windows uh, make sure that you minimal dust or if you've got animals don't let them in for for the period of time i've got white husky so you can just imagine he's got lots of fur and uh, he's not allowed in this room but sometimes I'm finding his hair in my paintings, which is, which is, um, yeah, hard to uh, <laughs> digest, especially if the painting comes out, uh, you know, like beautifully and I'm happy with it. And then suddenly somewhere in it, it's like my husky's hair. So not recommend uh, letting your uh, pets inside when you're varnishing and let it to dry. Fourth thing that I would like to cover is the surface. So make sure that you dust and clean the surface of painting gently using soft um, lint-free cloth. So I've done it already. So just to make sure that you have absolutely nothing on it. To apply the varnish, uh, you can use any paintbrush, which is quite wide. Or I would a foam brush depending which options you want to go for. I'm always going for like paintbrush rather than this spongy brush. Um, make sure that you apply a thin and even layer of varnish over the entire painting. Make sure your strokes go in one direction to avoid streaks. Um, avoid overbrushing as overbrushing can create bubbles, which we don't want. And then once varnish is laid in, of course, remember about sides, 
uh, if you want them to be covered as well uh, remember to uh, let it dry so don't poke your fingers inside or you know don't open the door don't let your pet, pets in because you might get um, fur inside of your uh, painting if you want to have a thicker glossier finish you can apply a second coat depending on the manufacturing instruction if you want you can protect it from the dust you know by putting on top like a crate or something just to cover it so nothing can get inside and you know and the painting can dry itself out without further ado let's get into varnishing <laughs> Yeah, my first varnish is done. I'm gonna let it dry for a couple of hours, probably till tomorrow morning, and then focus on the other paintings. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. If you like, then please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.